My name is Malo Bezet and I am a palette knife artist. So that means I only like my knife. I don't like anything else. I don't do brush because you have to clean them. But I started painting because my passion in life was well, since I was a little girl, I wanted to be an artist. I was raised in Finland. The only time I ever did any art was in school one year. We have to, there in high school, we have to do a practice thing. And I worked in this department store uh, doing the windows. And I thought, oh, this might be something for me. But then things happen in your life. And I got married, I have a daughter. You know, I didn't have the time. And then I, I've been here in Stewart and Palm City for 30 some years. I have a business here in town. My furniture store, that's been my work. So 10 years ago, I uh, took lessons in uh, adult education in Martin County in the encouragement of my daughter and my husband. And um, the teacher there thought I had some potentials to be, to do pet portraits. I'm like, I'm good. I can do pet portraits. If you look at my paintings, I put the little black cat in every painting I paint. And it's Mama Pumpkin. And I have um, worked with a non-profit cat uh, shelter for 10 years. I'm not a member anymore. I was a board member. I raised them a lot of funds and that teach a lot of cats and so do I. I do like other animals too, but cats are my passion. So I did that and then I started with oil painting in 2008. First uh, two years after I had started painting, I already bought a tent and I went on the road. And I thought it was pretty interesting to see. People said, aren't you scared? I said, what are you scared of? I mean, there's nothing to be scared about. Either people like your work or they don't like it. The best moment was after I only painted for a month and a half when I saw my first painting. And I'm like, all right, I'm on it. I'm, I'm on the right track. I'm also involved with a lot of different art groups. And last couple of years, I've done a lot of um, demos. Of course, people find it interesting the way I paint, because I'm not really even a true palette knife artist. Because palette knife artists, uh, they dab. So they go like this, bang, bang, bang. They just keep dabbing. And I dabbed long enough. I'm like, I don't like this the way I didn't like the way the sky looked when you were dapping like that, so I just made my own style of painting. Uh, sometimes people disagree with me, and they said, you could not have painted this with the knife. And I'm like, yes, I did. I don't uh, usually really sketch in anything. Very seldom I follow any kind of picture. I start and then I go like, oh my god, I'm in the middle of a painting, I have no clue. What am I gonna do? This painting here, I started in a demo for a group of ladies who came to visit me, and I never got it finished. But now I think I know what I'm going to do. Look at this tree trunk. Here it goes. It goes up in the sky. That wasn't what I had planned to do, but now my plans went to, I don't know where they went, of course. I done a lot of shows, and I got some awards. Last year I was so, um, honored to be named uh, the visual artist of Martin County for 2018. I was very, very surprised. But it's not only about your artistic ability. You know, if you can do something good for somebody, please do, because, you know, you will pay, pay up. It's uh, easy for me to encourage our people. And uh, you always should follow your dream. Um, I always said uh, when I was a little girl, I wanted to be an artist before I died. 2009 in March, I had been painting, taking lessons for six months. I got diagnosed with cancer. So I was pretty uh, bummed out because now here goes my dream, maybe, uh, you know. But I went through the surgeries and chemo and all this stuff. And now 11 years later, almost, I'm still here. I'm painting like a mad woman. So follow your dream do what you meant to do.